I think it's time to call Joe, the lead designer on this project. I hope that we did him justice and created this thing the way he wanted to see it. So why don't we give him a shout and see what he thinks. <laughs> it would be so awkward if he didn't answer. Might be at his uh, hot yoga class. Maybe he's been following our Instagram and is so disgusted by what we've been posting <laughs> as project updates that he's like, I don't even want to see it. Okay, Brian, I only have one question for you. How are you going to put a sandbox studio in here for the Oxygen Academy? I don't see I, one inch I of room. I don't want to get rid of it. No! I would say we cancel the sandbox studio because this is cooler. <laughs> <laughs> So what did you guys think? Is this incredible or what? We've got spillway bowls, we've got spillway walls, we've got stack slate urns, we've got fire stack slate urns, we've got stack slate spears, and not even to mention the pond, the aqua blue boulders, the waterfalls. It just turned out incredible, the brick walls. But one of my favorite elements of this entire design is the focal point running right through the water feature, and that is the bridge. Speaking of the bridge, I wanted to introduce you guys to somebody. He's a new face on Team Aquascape channel. This is Jack. Dan Family. Well, we everyone. already have a Jack Pazinski. Jack interned with us last summer, was a huge asset, and we really, really, really wanted him back after he graduated college, and he decided to make the leap into water features full time. What do you think for your first couple weeks back? It's been rough, definitely had a couple challenges, but overall, the team, I think, did a great job. Yeah, feel free to check out the boardwalk. I don't know about you, but I was slightly terrified when we put it up there, and you put your one foot on it the first time, man. I was nervous, I really My was. Heart a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had the bridge up now for about 36 hours, yeah. and we've been trucking back and forth. We've had rock, gravel, exactly. everything. Exactly, yeah. You know, literally hundreds of footsteps, thousands of footsteps going across it, and not a creek in it. So, dude, again, kudos to you. Thank you. You did a fantastic job. So let's take a walk on this boardwalk that Jack and Luis built. You walk through kind of the heart of the pond itself. This is the deep section. This is the section where all of the fish are going to swim throughout. It goes straight down. It just looks, I, I mean, it's its very simple yet zen-like with all the right angles. It's just so beautiful. The clean water. I can't wait to get fish in here and see them swim underneath the bridge. Watch how they swim in front of the lights and all the different things that are going on. But what's cool about this bridge is as you walk through here, you've got this enormous wall with the three spillway bowls. I mean, look at this. I'm standing on the deck and I am six foot, we'll say two inches, but more like six foot and eight eighths of an inch. But these ribbon waterfalls are at eye level. They drop all the way down. Such a cool thing. It's very rare that we were able to pull off a six foot tall waterfall without enormous rock. But these little horsetail falls, all of them, just lend themselves to that really modern design that Joe designed in here. So let's pan over here. Also what I love is that there's water on both sides of the bridge. The spillway walls over here is more like a weepy wall but a little bit more aggressive. We were able to put probably four or 5,000 gallons between the three walls, and the way it comes down the stack slate is just incredible. It's almost like silver raindrops. The reason that I like that is this gives you a glimpse into the rest of the water feature. Stack slate is a very common thing with a lot of our fountainscapes. We have the stack slate urns, the stack slate spheres, the stack slate walls. So what this is doing is it's giving you a glimpse into the rest of the water feature. It's a theme that carries over all the way through, which really strengthens the overall design using the three different elements. So you've got the stack slate spillway walls, and then as you continue on through the boardwalk, you all of a sudden stop and you see the urn collection. Now, we went with aqua blue boulders because I felt like they really matched up well with the color and the texture of the stack slates, urns, spheres, walls, and the slate patio ponds, right? It's just the color of the boulders, the angular properties of the rock really lend themselves to working with that stack slate material. They just mesh. So what we did was, is we ended up making a boulder waterfall and fluting or mixing in the stack slate urns behind. All different sizes. Of course, you see the big jumbo urn, which is definitely a 
focal point. But we were also able to get a couple of the fire urns in as well. But you can see we've mixed them in off by themselves as edge treatments, as frame rocks for the waterfall. It's just, I love this fountainscape display. It's something that you've seen us do a couple times throughout some of our Artist of the Year videos, as well as some of the videos that we've done as Team Aquascape Project. But I really think this really kicks it to the next level. I love it. I love the pond. I love how it wraps around. One of my favorite things is when, when we're fulfilling designs, and, and this is a key element in all of the different Artists of the Year's designs, is creating an idea of mystery or adding an element of mystery into their designs so that you can't see the entire water feature, the entire backyard, or the entire landscape from one view. I love the motion coming through here. I love that the bridge goes straight, then dog legs right, then a hard 90 degree left, and then leads you to this patio out by the Shedster. And this is a gathering space that's detached from the house. What's really cool about this is then when you turn your focus back, you find Jack Pazinski here already enjoying the view. You were instrumental in pulling this project together. What is your favorite element in here? The urns. The urns? Yes. Personally, I love the stack slate urns a lot, and I was really looking forward to when we said we were gonna do the, all the different elements of the stack slate urns, and we were gonna include the jumbo stack slate urn, I couldn't wait to see how it looks. And from the looks of it, I don't know about you guys, but it's jaw dropping for me. Between all the waterfalls and the fire and the moss, it really sets the tone for the entire feature. I think what's really cool is we started off over at the house, kind of walked our way through, and then Jack was back here admiring the work, the hard work, the effort, the energy that we put into this project. And it's cool because as artists, we really appreciate all the little details and stuff and it's cool because we always find ourselves going back and looking from the different viewing areas and making sure that we really took everything that we had and took it to its fullest potential so i love the stack slate urns as well i think that, that area turned out incredible one thing i also really like that you were a big help on you and josh both was this stack slate spear area and that's that stream area that you can't even see from anywhere else in the garden i love this area over in here We wanted this area to be kind of the headwaters of the project, but also part of the project that you wouldn't be able to see from anywhere else in the garden space. The idea with the spheres was not only to plumb them and use them the way they were intended, but to also flip that idea on its ear and use the spheres as almost boulders in a stream. So we wanted the water to careen through the spheres. And if you look down, you can see the bubbles from the oxygenated water as it's being turned over through all the spheres. And it just, all those bubbles just really kind of twist and turn through the different size spheres. I love the different elevations of them and it's just a really really cool element that you don't even get to appreciate from anywhere else in the garden space and going back to that mystery that I talked about you don't know this is here but also while you're standing here you don't know that the spillway walls are back there the urns are back there you don't know that any of that is behind me that's why this design is so incredible is that you can walk through this garden and at any given vantage point you can see only probably 50% of it which is what's really fun you find yourself reappreciating it every every time you walk through the garden. So now that you guys have seen the project, I think there's one very, very, very instrumental person that has yet to see this. I am getting chills just thinking about what his reaction is gonna be when we give him a call. I think it's time to call Joe, the lead designer on this project. Unfortunately, as you guys found out in earlier videos, he was not able to be a part of this project, but he submitted his design over and trusted enough in us at Team Aquascape to pull it off. I hope that we did him justice and created this thing the way he wanted to see it. So why don't we give him a shout and see what he thinks. It would be so awkward if he didn't answer. Might be at his uh, hot yoga class. Maybe he's been following our Instagram and is so disgusted by what we've been posting <laughs> as project updates that he's like, I don't even want to see it. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry, man. I thought you were at like your hot yoga class or something. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, we're, we're done. We're just finishing up. Uh, we're shooting some video and I wanted to get your reaction and give you kind of the, the walkthrough before the madness of Greg's reveal party happens. You ready for it? Yeah. Are you? Oh my God, dude. I'm kind of nervous, honestly. I really am. I really am. How do I turn the camera on? Are you ready? Yeah. You sure you're ready? Okay, here we go. I can't 
can't believe this is the same spot. I've actually never <laughs> seen your authentic <laughs> reaction. Yeah. Like, yeah, this you is, haven't this, Oh, I love it. Look <laughs> at how high this is. I had no idea this was going to be a high. I got, is, this, door is, right this a, is this a trap bridge? If I step on it, will I fall in? You're yes. like, that'll be perfect for the yeah. film. Dude, this is great. All right, Joey. This is pretty incredible. Well done. Yes. Well done. Well, I wish you were here, Joey, but I'm telling you right now, these guys, they went every night late. Yeah. This is so cool. Can you imagine fish from the underneath here? It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to, I'm gonna put a ton of fish in here. Yeah. I have no idea what we're gonna, wow, that the flames, look at a giant urn. <laughs> that thing is badass. Holy cow. This is huge. I think this is the, this has got to be the biggest volume of water. Oh, it, this is by far the biggest volume of water. Wow. I, what's so cool is it's so different than every other artist. Well, you are a unique man. Look at this, it keeps going. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That is the most amount of spears I've ever seen running at one time. Joey, I'm, I'm going to say this is the most over the top artist of the year design. Unbelievable. Wow, this is so cool. Thank you. The guys did a good job. I'm very proud of the team. And I can't wait to see you down here from Canada. So, hey, wow. Joey, awesome This job, is so man. fun. This is why I love to say I love my job. I never know what I'm gonna see. I saw some pictures, none with water in it, so I didn't see it running. I didn't know they were gonna put fire in there. I didn't know that they used the big urn. Wow, what a difference, what a change. Look at this, this is, is my- Is this the hardest one to build? Because of all the plumbing? I mean, look at how many how many pumps you have run. Okay, there's nine pumps Oh my this God, thing. this is, that's the most technical, technically We've never built a one. project in our life that had nine pumps. Out. Right, right. I think all the artists of the year, I think, what did we say, four or five? Five maybe was the highest number of pumps I, on their yeah, project. Almost project. double. Yeah. I love how high that wall is. Mm -hmm. Wow. Brian, we did seven or eight artists of the year sandboxes last year. Yep. This year, we didn't get any with the exception of this one. And obviously, Joe wasn't here, which was very disheartening. Yep. I'm sure he would have taken it to a, even another level than we did. But it was cool to get his vote of confidence and his admiration for what we did and help pulling off his design. You were huge the last two days with us just helping button up all the technical <gasps> stuff. Um, <laughs> But this is pretty awesome, man. I think you nailed it, though. The biggest person we were trying to impress was the designer, Joey. Yeah. And the fact that he's proud of what you built, right, with his design, and he did such an incredible job with the design. He laid it all out. Obviously, there was changes with holes in the way and this and that and measurements being slightly off. No different than any flower show we've ever done yep. in the past. Yep. It's incredible. It's just incredible. When I walk through it, I go, ooh, ah, wow. As employees walk through it earlier, you watch them all go, ooh, ah, wow. And I can't imagine anybody else coming through those doors in the next five minutes is not gonna say anything but, oh my God, this is amazing. How the hell did you do this? Yeah. We have an amazing team. It's awesome. It's I think that so was, awesome. that's what was so fun about it is we did it as Team Aquascape, trying to fulfill Joey's vision. It was a lot of fun, a lot hey, of work. Hey, someday we'll do our vision. We will. You guys wait and see. With that slip, <laughs> the slip and slide? Yeah. The, the, the Listen, if you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed creating it for you, let us know in the comments section. This booth turned out absolutely incredible. Huge shout out to Genoscape out of Canada. Joey is an amazing artist. Anybody in the Toronto area that's looking for a certified Aquascape contractor, give him a shout. That guy is top notch. Huge thank you also to you guys for watching and cheering us along as you go. Till next time, I'm going to sign out because I'm tired and it's time for a beer. See ya.